So before you guys want to um, start shoveling, it's very important that you stretch out and warm up all these loose muscles. So in order to um, warm up, you can um, go for a walk um, around your house if it's big enough, or if not, you can walk um, safely um, outside. So you want to walk for about five to um, 10 minutes, just to get the um, blood flowing, the muscles all nice and loosened up. It's also very important to stretch out these tight muscles. Um, cold, um, tight muscles are way more prone to getting hurt, injuries, strain, and muscles that you stretch out and stay nice and warm and loose. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you some awesome stretches that help get your whole body nice and loose and ready to start shoveling safe. So the first one is a hamstring stretch. Okay, so your hamstrings are behind your leg right here. Okay, so what you want to do is put your leg up on a chair or a stool or something that's unloading your weight. What you want to do is keep your back nice and straight and you're going to lean forward until you feel a stretch behind your leg. With um, all of these stretches, it is very important that you don't force the stretch. You want to go until you feel a nice gentle pull and hold it for 30 seconds. On all of these stretches, you want to hold them for 30 seconds twice and do them on, on both sides. It's very important that you stay even on both sides. Another stretch you can do is a calf stretch. So you're going to go up against the wall with your hands. You're going to have your front knee bent and your back leg straight, okay? You want to make sure that you keep both toes pointing forward onto the wall and your back heel down. And you're going to feel that nice gentle stretch right right here in your calf and you're going to hold that again for 30 seconds. Some more stretches we have is the quad stretch that Liz is going to show you. All right, so the quadricep muscle is located right here in the front of your leg. Um, and this is a pretty simple stretch, but the key to remember is to um, stay aligned. So you're going to bend back your knee and hold your foot up, but then make sure that your back stays straight and your leg stays right in line with your body. And don't move your pelvis forward. You want to kind of keep it back under you. And you're going to hold the stretch for 30 seconds as well. And then repeat that on the other side of your body. And then repeat that twice. Okay, now that we've done the legs, let's move on to the back. We're going to show you some stretches that we can get for your lower back, your middle back, and then the upper part of your back. So we'll start off in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our left hand and we're going to reach up over our head, straight over. And what, we, we, what we don't want to see is you're bending forward like this. We want you to keep your trunk nice and straight and then just reach straight over your head. You should feel a nice stretch on the left side of your body going this way. And again, you want to keep that nice, gentle stretch. You don't want to force it. And then you're going to come down, and then you're going to do the other side. Same technique, straight over your head, and this is for the right side of your body. We don't want to see any, any bending at all. All right, and then once you hold those for 30 seconds, we're going to move on. We're going to do something for the upper part of your back. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your hands and just cross your fingers like this. And then you're going to kind of push your shoulders forward. And then you're going to lean your head down towards the ground. And you're going to get a nice stretch in the back. And we'll show you right here. So as Liz leans forward with her head, she's going to feel a nice stretch in the upper part of her back, right between her shoulder blades, right in here. All righty. I don't know if I should 